Good morning, happy Friday. As you can see, I'm in my car and it is much lighter than normal. We actually had another snow day today. This is the third one this week. And I did not work the work day on Wednesday or Thursday, but I decided since the roads are much better today and I haven't been all week, I'm gonna go in and work today. It is 7.55 and I kinda just wanted to wait until it was daylight so I could make sure not to hit any black ice on the way to school. And since it's Friday, we are gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts what and get what? some coffee and a donut. If my mom does not have coffee, she gets grumpy. Very grumpy. If I don't have coffee, I get grumpy. And if Paisley doesn't have food, she gets grumpy. <laughs> That's the truth. Okay, so we're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and I'll catch up with you guys when we get to school. I think everyone and their brother went to Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Usually, I just pull right up. There are one, two, three, four cars, five cars in front of me. And here comes another one behind me. <laughs> Paisley, what do you want? Boston. Her usual Boston cream donut. And I'm getting my usual coffee. Yum. Thank you for coming up here. Hi, can I get a large hot coffee with cream and a caramel swirl and a Boston cream donut and a sour cream donut? One Boston cream and one sour cream. Yes. What else for you? That's all. That's going to be 427. Thank you. Thank you. Look at all the snow. It is freezing and me and mama don't have on really thick pants. I know. Oh. Hurry. Really cold. All right, I'm at school and it is so cold outside. I um need to go ahead and clock in and the last time I was here I had a sub so my room looks pretty clean kind of. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about that but whenever I have a sub I expect the room to be nice and clean when I get back and sometimes it is and sometimes it's not and we also give feedback on our system that we have for getting a sub and they really Paisley has my old glasses. I took the lens out, lenses out of them and she likes to pretend she has glasses. But, um, so we can give feedback on our subs and if they leave my room messy or, you know, just a wreck, then I don't leave good feedback. But the sub that I had laid everything out nice and neat over there on the table. So, I might have to give her five stars. But I'm going to go ahead and clock in and make a list of all the things I want to get done today. And I will try to film some for you guys so you can see what I do on a work day. Imagine that. Another poster fell. And this one fell. Oh my goodness. Luckily those are still up there. Someone left a comment on my video saying that I should try the Velcro squares from Dollar Tree. So I actually have some Velcro spots that I might try to put on these posters and see if it helps. I did use the Velcro spots on some clothespins that I have hanging over here. I'll show you. This is my awesome work wall. There's mommy. And I have these clothespins up here that I hot glued and so you can just kind of like stick the work up in there. And some of them I used the Velcro circles for and they've seemed to stay up there pretty well, so I might have to try that. But my first challenge is this closet. I have some white because blue. I feel like I've cleaned this closet out so many times. But I'm gonna go through this. I think I'm gonna take everything out. 
organize it, put the things that go together together, get rid of things I don't need, and then put it all back in. So here we go. I took all the erasers out of the pack and put them in this little pink polka dot bucket that I got from Dollar Tree. That way I can just reach in there and grab one when I need it. I have these pencil grips too. I might put those in there with those. I also have glue sticks and a bell. So I'll put that right there. Sometimes I come over to the closet and I'm like, and then my whole class gets really quiet. So now I'm gonna do the second shelf. going to pull everything out of this shelf and then put it all back in there the way that I want it so I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm all done I am feeling really good about this right now so I cleaned out I didn't really take anything out from back there because those are like all those three ring notebooks that you see right there are all notebooks from when I had different methods classes in college and I just can't seem to part with them yet. Down here I have extra folders, notebook paper, and I have those two pop-up boxes that are empty. I just stuck them in there because you never know when you might need a box. I put some hand sanitizers there. I have cleaning supplies, glue sticks, band-aids, highlighters, and then I just have this little container of plastic bags and then back there in that basket are magazines. I have some expo markers in this basket and then posters that I decided to keep. I have my big, this is the big construction paper there and I don't like to stack it. Stacking it would give me more room but then it's so hard to get what I need out because I have to take the whole thing out, put the whole thing back. I have my calendar, months, some extra name tags, and then some extra months that go to a different calendar set. I have a big old basket of sticky notes and then some extra small containers back there and some extra scissors. And then on the top shelf, I put kind of like my office supplies. So I have hot glue gun, a bell. This has some of the large manila envelopes in it index cards, shipping labels, file folders, extra staplers and tape dispensers. I have pencils in that basket back there, my paper products, and then these are erasers. And then I have these two little clear plastic picture frames that I can put messages in to my kids. So that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I cleaned off the top. There were two big boxes up there and I just put them down there. So I'll probably leave that like it is. It's like, oh, 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 oh. There we go. Turn that around. Yeah, that looks better. My next feat is this cabinet. It's pretty organized for the most part because it hasn't been that long ago since I organized it, but there are some things in there that I do not need or want anymore. So I will get rid of those things and then put everything back in order. This is kind of like my art cabinet. Look at all that glitter. It spilled out. And now it is on everything. It's even on my pants and the floor. Oh my goodness, this is a mess. This is just kind of like art stuff that's just thrown in here. But that glitter is out of control. 
This box is actually a book box that we used to use for our basil, which we don't use anymore. But I went through and put some stuff in these little bags. These are just hooks. I have some thread and floss. Uh, toothpicks that have glitter in them. I have some pony beads. I have some of these little clear beads that I used to use to make ornaments for Christmas time. I have some little apples and pumpkin stickers. And then I put all of my googly eyes together too. So I have those little bags down in there so everything is sorted and separated. And then I have some pom-poms, some glitter, and then these are just some Christmas ornaments that I made this year with my kids. And then I have pipe cleaners, fake snow, and cotton balls in there. So I'm gonna put this in there like that. And this box over here just has some fabric because I put fabric on my bulletin boards and it also has some tablecloths, like seasonal ones. And then I have some tissue paper and newspapers on top of that box. So this cabinet is all cleaned out. I went ahead and put back there in the back on the bottom are puff paints. And then I have some raffia up there. This is a container of clay and some stamps. On the top shelf, back in the back, I have chalk. I have this uh, little tote thing with colored chalk and white chalk. I have this basket that has markers. And then these are the heart stickers that I bought at Dollar Tree the other day. I showed you guys in my video from Friday, I think. Or maybe Tuesday. And then I have some paint back here. Paisley's got some of the paint out, but that basket is usually full. And then I have these little plastic containers. This one has Q-tips. This one has some foam shapes, craft sticks, and clothespins. And then I have a basket full of yarn back there. So that cabinet is all done. And look at the floor. It's got glitter all over it. Oh, I have these bottles of glue. I can put those in there. So that is my art cabinet. The next cabinet I'm going to go through is this cabinet. This has all kinds of math things, um, rollers, chips, dice, paper clips, flash cards, boards, thermometers, adding machine tape. So I'm going to go through and sort through this clean it out and organize it a little bit, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So that cabinet is cleaned out. I'll show you guys what's in here real quick. Back there in the back, I have these, which are frog games. They have game boards and game cards that are for reading and math. I have, seriously, now that that's all cleaned up, I have dice in this container. So I have just some regular dot dice. I have some wooden fraction dice that I made for something that we do in math. I have these that have the numbers. And then I have these that have like one through 10, I think, or nine. So I just keep all of those in there for when we need them. And this has game pieces for the frog games. I have some dice here, and then these are seven to 10 dice that I use. In this bag, I have number tiles that go with Marcy Cook math things. And in here, I have a bunch of counters. This is my ruler box. This bottom basket has flashcards. And then the top basket has some wooden geo blocks and some games that go with our geometry unit. And then in the back, back there, I just have some uh, extra 
money, calculators, and then some story problems that I made a long time ago on rings. And then down in the bottom here, I have geo boards. Back there in the back, I have boxes for my geared clocks. Some more geo boards, some linking cubes, and then this doesn't have anything in it. These are just little um, dot labels or dot stickers. Paper clips, adding machine tape. I have some magnets, some thermometers, little magnifying glasses, and some play money. So that is everything in my math cabinet. This is the next cabinet, and yeah, I'm gonna clean it out, and then I'll show you guys what's in there and what it looks like when I'm done. I cleaned out this cabinet, and it had a bunch of these plastic containers that had different items for um, sale, like with fake money, because in the past I always did like an economy in my classroom, and so I had these with different kinds of like treasures, pencils, um, little, all kinds of little things for um, them to spend their money on at the end of the month. So I cleaned out those, and I have some extra baskets back there as well. Here are the lids for these. And then I have these little totes that I'm not using. Back there I have a box of spiral notebooks that are there in case I need them. And then I put all of my candy in this box and then all of the things that I had for treasure box in here. So I'm probably gonna start using that again for dojo points. And I just wanted to combine it all so I didn't have all those containers in there. And then down here I have a paper box that just has Ziploc bags, all different sizes. The baskets that were on top of my closets I put in here and then I have this little basket. I have some hole punchers. Those are CD players and back there I have some stories like books on CD. And then I have my butterfly net for springtime and then some cords. So that's kind of just storage and things that I may need later on in the year. Next is this cabinet, and this is a cabinet that my students are allowed to get into on days that we have inside recess. So I'm going to clean that out and try to organize it a little better so that they can get stuff in and out without it looking like this. Well, that looks much better. I have all of my puzzles in this box and I actually had three that the boxes were broke so I just cut out the picture and put the pieces and the picture inside a bag like that and this one and then Diary of a Wimpy Kid so then that way they're all together because when I got this box out of here there were puzzle pieces all down in the bottom. I have the Tinker Toy set there, search and finds with markers and then some paper if they want to draw. Down on the bottom I have all of my board games and then a thing of checkers. This is a large checker board. Card games and then some puzzles like highlights puzzles there. So that probably won't stay like that for long, but it makes me feel better for now. <laughs> and then my last cabinet, I am not going to go through. This is just seasonal stuff. It's pretty, pretty clean for the most part. So I'm not gonna do anything in there. This is the other closet on the other side of my counters. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do in here. I have these drawer things. I've already gone through all of this and cleaned it out at the beginning of the year. So that is all good. That down there is construction paper. I have some shoes for students who forget to bring shoes and paisleys and mine. That is all border for my bulletin board. And then I have like cardstock. 
truck. Um, different kinds of paper, labels, dividers. So I've got some stuff there. This all up here is pretty much organized. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe nothing, we'll see. In this closet, I decided to take one of the, um, whatever these things are called, out, because it was right there. So now I have room for my coats and the shoes down there. And I cleaned off the top of that a little bit and straightened that a little bit. And the other one of these containers, I decided to put over here. And I put labels in the drawers for different things that I need to be able to get to and find easily. I also straightened some things on the counter. I hung those papers up that my kids did for that book I read, Those Shoes. And I... I straightened up my desk a little bit. I had these smaller Sterilite drawers in my closet that were not being used. So I think I'm gonna make some labels for those and put different things in there. I have sticky notes in that one. I also went ahead and planned all of my lessons for next week in plan book. So I feel really good about that. I made copies for math and literacy for next week. So, I have been a very busy bee today. It is three o'clock and I think I am pretty much done. I don't know that I have anything else to do. I do need to check my emails before I leave and put morning work out and change the lunch choices in the day because I haven't done that yet. But for the most part, I am done. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will check back in with y'all before we head out. here because my room is clean and I'm ready for Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know that you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see upcoming videos in the future from me and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye!